we're trying to preserve beneficials. We're doing that because there should be a dollar value put on that, which are helping the growers actually probably spray less. Anyone can come in and grow avos. Depends on your background as to how you're going to go about it. I call it tomato farmer DNA, as in we grow them like they're tomatoes. In avocados, uh, we get post flowering and then we, that's where we, really we start looking at the, the pest dynamic in our orchard. Um, you know, fruit spotting bug is, is certainly number one. We've got fruit fly, we've got mites. Then certainly we get loopers and other lepidopter pests that come into the orchard as well. When it comes to beneficials, I mean, we've got a raft that do come in here, green lacewing, cryptolemus, a lot of microhymenoptera. Assassin bugs are certainly another key one and, and uh, spiders. On the tomatoes, we've been IPM since before IPM was a thing. If there's an option to use it that's gonna be cost effective, we're there. Certainly making sure that those ratios are, are all in the favour of, of the predator and bene beneficial side of it. You see it through some of the drop sheet monitoring we do do. And we've obviously used transforms through that process and then compared it to synthetic pyrethroids uh, where we've seen that the predators are staying. We do see some low effects on some of our beneficial species from using something like transform but nowhere near what it would be with a synthetic pyrethroid. Starting from flowering our method is just softly, softly. It's your transforms in that early, early piece and then go in with the, with the broad spectrum stuff later. We're using transform rather early in the season, both in, in avocados and macadamias and seeing that it's working very effectively on some of our key pests. Incorporating it early into the season just to make sure that we're not knocking anything down. We're trying to not cause a disruption in some of our predatory mite species as well, which the synthetic pyrethroids and organophosphates are well known to do. Uh, flaring of mites and um, we're, we're making sure that we're maintaining those those predatory mite populations and as long as we know there's a great outlook for the crop that they're going to harvest and that's it's, it's all sort of smooth sailing from there so Christmas drinks are usually pretty well celebrated. Mm -hmm.